In 2017, Hurricane Irma ripped through Miami and flooded the apartment in our series. My subscriber who lives here was forced to evacuate in a hurry and moved what remained in their apartment to any water-free space they could find. In the aftermath of the Category 4 hurricane, they faced years of renovations and construction to repair all of the water damage. Just about the time they finished the construction, the pandemic hit and both her and her husband had to set up home office. Offices. Eventually, they were so tired and overwhelmed of living in chaos that they contacted me for help. So TSD flew down to Florida and we have exactly five days to undo five years of disorganization. The Miami Declutter series starts now. Whenever she messaged me, I was so excited for this one space behind me. Before we start, I wanted to back up to last week's makeover and just say this really quickly. When you see something online, you never really know what that person's history is and what they're dealing with at the moment. I'm not saying this for any specific comment. Um, I really just wanna create a community that shows compassion and encourages the owner rather than bashes them. Decluttering your home is really sort of a therapy and it takes time and everyone's process and progression is going to look different. I think it would be more ideal if we encouraged their progress because they're reading the comments and also because even though you don't see them on camera, they're doing the work right there beside me. And what I forgot to mention is that this day, her husband was working and she was also working. She was running between the storage closet and her work office to have meetings all day and trying to be emotionally present to declutter what she needed to. And a lot of the stuff that we set aside is also for her husband to go through. He couldn't be with us that day, but we, we plan to take care of all of this on the weekend. Stay with me, stay confident. We are going to pull this off. I have been so excited to get my hands on this shower and it's important that we started in the storage closet last week because we were able to make some space in there and a lot of the stuff will be able to go down there and I'll explain what it is later. And these cabinets in the bathroom, this is it's just such a common situation for a lot of people to be in. It can be really overwhelming to go through a lot of these things and it can be easier to just shut the cabinets or the drawers and forget about it. But today we are going to help her take control of the space, get it organized so that getting ready in the morning is a peaceful experience again. We're gonna have some serious fun because who doesn't love a good bathroom organization? And let me introduce you to our special guest today. We also have a sleepy, sunny kitty. Oh. Hello. Hi. Eight, 18-ish years old. Yeah, and you're purring, you're so sweet. So oh. oh, you're showing off. Everybody on the channel loves the kitties. Yeah. None of the projects would be free without the help from our sponsors. And today's sponsor is one that I think you guys are really going to love. Today's sponsor has over 241,000 ratings in the App Store, and they have an average of 4.7 stars. It is also number 43 on the adventure chart, and that is June's Journey. June's journey takes place in the roaring 1920s and it takes you on a detective adventure through New York all the way to Paris. You get to help June solve the mystery by finding the hidden objects in each scene. And by the way, this is absolutely free for you to download and play. If you love any of those hidden picture games, you're going to love this and it's all done virtually. And let me tell you, it is not as easy as it sounds. You're gonna play the first round and you'll think that's really easy, but I promise you it gets hard until you're just staring and you can't cannot figure out where the object is. If you're a mystery lover or if you've always dreamt of living in the 1920s like me, you are going to love this game. In the description box, I will link June's Journey so that you can go download it. June's Journey is available on all Android and iOS mobile devices. And if you're using your PC to check out Facebook games, you can play it there as well. And thank you so much June's Journey for sponsoring an episode of our Miami Declutter. And now back to cleaning out this bathroom. It's gonna be so good. That was also related to when we had to remodel. We did all the floors, and so that required everything in the unit to get moved around. As we know from the condition of the storage, which was at max capacity, this is just extra stuff that we needed to figure out where to go, and it went there. So it's it's been here for five years? Some, yeah. How good do you think you're going to feel when this is cleared out? 
amazing, right? It <laughs> irritates me on a regular basis. <laughs> Our only goal for today is to clean out this bathroom and quickly organize it. We're working with a very realistic schedule for somebody who works from home. Like, she has to work this afternoon, so we have a little less than four hours to try and tackle this face day, but I think it's really good for us because our project yesterday was bigger than we expected <laughs> and it's just good sometimes to like give yourself a power a few hours and only focus on that task. You can't procrastinate, you can't get distracted, you're just gonna do this and then it's gonna be over and we're gonna feel amazing after this. So my goal is to first take everything out of the shower. We've already decided that with a lot of the plant food and the gardening stuff, even if we can't get it downstairs and organize in the storage closet today, we're gonna at least get it to the balcony and we'll deal with that stuff later. But as long as we can like wrap up one project and start pushing it that way, it's really gonna help us because the weekends we're gonna spend really long days trying to tackle everything. So if we can get it all in one space, it's gonna be even better. So uh, we have a busy day of a very extreme bathroom declutter. Are you ready? <laughs> we know this is going to be a messy job because they repaired the ceiling because there happened to be a leak in these last five years and there's just some stuff that we don't want to touch, so cautious. A lot of gardening supplies. Craft supplies. We have an old uh, Dell, I can tell by the color. <laughs> there was a big printer with it, but we dropped that off at Best Buy for recycling. Oh, we have a pooping reindeer. <laughs> we have a squishy pepper. We have some stuff that we don't know what it is, but her husband's home, so we're gonna give it to him Here. right now to just like quickly ask about it and go through it, so. And some cables. I'm learning a lot from her about where to recycle things and Best Buy apparently recycles a lot of old electronics and cables so we're gonna take that one to Best Buy. Okay now it's just big boxes. Oh I think these are seat covers maybe. I have a mouse. Some brand new Clothes. Oh, actually, there's a lot of clothes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the good news is we've almost gotten through one of our giant boxes. And I don't have any other bad news, so just good news. More. You can start to see some of the dust from construction, and look at that. We found a lot of clothes. Oh, more car stuff. A couple floor mats. If you want to just put it straight. Okay. Got some headlights. With one headlight. My method right now is just to get everything out so it's easier for us to go through and so that we can see the floor really quickly. <laughs> I'm also going to get these out. These were probably from five years ago. I want to show you something. Oh my god. You have like part of a shower. <laughs> okay, I just learned some helpful tips for recycling stuff that you're decluttering around your house. I will leave all of these resources down below for you guys. One, she said that you can buy a box from TerraCycle where you can put in all of your that uh, body wash bottle that we had and toothpaste. You can put things in there and they will take care of disposing it properly and recycling it. So getting out all of the like extra shampoo that's in the bottle and cleaning it for you, which is something that you have to do. It's really annoying, but you, you have to do it. Um, you bear the cost of shipping it, so it's not going to be the cheapest option, but it is better for the planet. And if you don't want to do that and you're doing a big declutter like this, it makes a lot of sense. Um, the other one was Earth 911. She was wondering how do I recycle nail polish, which I didn't know it was a hazardous waste to dispose of, but you can look up um, Earth 911 and it'll tell you how to dispose of certain 
items uh, within your area, which is really helpful. The other one was that Best Buy recycles electronics. So probably computers, you'd want to make sure that they're wiped clean of your information and old phones, things like that. But you can dispose of old electronics there. And then you can order at sneakerimpact.com. You get a bag. You can put up to uh, five pairs of clean shoes in here. Um, and then they will give them to people who need them. And you can drop it off at FedEx. The last one was also really cool. It's from Adidas and they have a recycling program. So um, any clothes that might have stains on them or things that you would never donate to a consignment store or a thrift shop, you can recycle them with Adidas once a month. They're gonna give you a credit and they're going to either prepare the clothing for resale or they're going to recycle it properly, which is a really cool program. All that stuff will be linked down below for you guys. A lot of these large boxes in the shower were pieces to a car that they used to have but they no longer need. And it can sometimes be easier to just put these behind closed doors and forget about them than it is to sort them, especially whenever you're in an apartment and you have to take things to dispose of them. It's, it's a little more challenging than it is whenever you're just like in suburbia. So right now we're just going to put those downstairs. It's more important today to get the shower cleaned out because this is something that she faces every single day. The storage is something that is not in their apartment. They're gonna continue to go through it. We'll show you in other episodes, but this is going to start changing how they both approach their day just by starting in the bathroom. And I cannot tell you how her mood just started to shift the moment she was able to get in here to start cleaning. She was so, so excited. I love starting in the bathroom because it changes how you approach your day. If your drawers are chaotic, you're gonna feel stressed and chaotic in the morning. But if your drawers are organized, you're gonna feel like you're staying in a luxurious hotel. You're gonna have a calm morning. She's thinking. She's like, this, she's is like, not this could be my room, my cat room. Aww. This is Honey. She lost her baby recently and she's been kind of sad. We love kitties on this and you're so sweet. We're sorry about your baby. You guys hear her purring? Yeah, you purring? Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Honey. Okay, the shower is done. We moved some stuff down to the storage closet, the rims, but that's why we made space for them the first day we did that. I think next up is to start going through the cabinets, but we're doing really good on time. How good do you feel to have your shower? I can't believe it. I really, it's, I can't believe it, but it's out, out. She does want to let you guys know that she's she is going to clean it. Deep, deep clean. She's going to do a very good deep clean, but that's not what we have time for today. I'm here to help like declutter and get it organized. So she'll be doing that later. Though I really would love to help you clean because I love it. If we have extra time, we'll do it at the end. Ready for the cabinets? It's gonna make it a lot messier, but I think the best thing to do is to take everything out. We're gonna put it on the bed. When we watch any shows like these on TV, it can often make you feel like you're not making enough progress because the way you declutter looks different from everyone else. And that's really just because they don't show you all of the messy parts on camera or they have a giant team. But the truth is your declutter is always going to get worse before it gets better, but I promise it will get better. This is the old nail polish. She didn't know what to do with it. This is hazardous waste, so we're gonna drop this one off. I asked her to get the set from Amazon that I love. I'm pretty sure it's just $25 and you get all of these. And I'll show you without the plastic in a second. You get a bunch of these middle sized ones and then you get some tiny ones, which are awesome for bathrooms and like bobby pins. And then you have a lot of these other long skinny ones. I also use these in the Texas declutter for my mom. I brought all of mine to her. And then we bought this um, pack. 
a six pack. I thought it was six. Oh yeah, there's six. I think it's also only like $20 to $24. We are going to have extra organizers, but she's going to use the rest of these in their other bathroom that they use, as well as in her office, but we're not going to be showing that in this series. Going through right now and decluttering anything that she doesn't need so things that have expired we have all of like the nail polishes that we'll donate as hazardous waste not donate but we'll dispose, dispose of yeah. and i'm gonna help organize it um as she goes through it for like um little travel bags oh yeah okay so put that there this is all good i use this regularly this is a decor item that needs to go with the ah, an elephant <laughs> i found that randomly one time and just i took it are all of these nail polishes though? Yeah, those are those okay. are newer that I have okay. tacked on. Oh, this is travel stuff too. Yeah, and I kind of leave a rolling bag. This is terrace. Okay. What a cute little drunk elephant bag. Yeah, they sell they sell a travel kit. They do. Yeah, and then but the problem is is that they're mini size, but then. The, I don't know if they've changed it, but then when you buy it, then they give you another bag, and I'm oh, like, I don't want any more bags. I know. I hate when they're, they're <laughs> I just want that. the travel size containers. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna put them in here yeah, for now. This is so, this is extra yeah. skincare that doesn't fit in my little. Okay, I'm gonna just start like kind of backstop stuff over there. Box, so okay. just recycle that. This is also a sample. Yeah, I just end up using okay. it with the hand. Whatever, oh, lotion. Yeah, I just yeah. end up. I get them and I end up using yeah. them until oh, they're done. Yeah, do that too. Little samples. Yeah, mm -hmm. those I use for travel. Are these travel? Mm -hmm. I use these in my purse a lot. Mm -hmm. Most of this is my. the 90s I had this pink basket too I wanted to start sorting the wall cabinet before pulling everything else out just because we're working in a smaller space and I, I didn't want it to quite look like the entire bathroom exploded onto their bed so we're just doing this in stages if you have a large space it might be easier for you to take it all out at once it really just depends on what you're working with This was catnip, it just spilled. Um, she's gonna clean out all of these in here and I will organize. I know this process right here, when it's the messiest that it's going to be, can be extremely overwhelming and really discouraging in your declutter process. I mean, and I feel that same way too, where I just, I look at all of this stuff and I, I don't know where to start. I like to start by sorting whatever I gravitate towards. Um, if I'm seeing a bunch of nail polishes in the pile of everything, I'm going to start by grouping those things together. You really just have to feel it out because if you feel your body moving towards like sorting a particular group of items, 
and then you're successful at doing that, you're gonna slowly find more of that motivation to keep going and you're naturally going to start achieving these little victories until finally all your little victories amount to the entire pile being sorted. So I'm gonna take these gua sha's and jade roller and put them in something that's nice because you don't want to put like one of these that's dirty on your face. So we will, or they break. Or they, yeah, they are, they do wanna break. Do you wanna keep the herbivore box? I have kept it in there for the same reason. Like, did I put the roller in there? No, no, it's just the box. I had kept it also for that same purpose of like, protecting it but okay. I'm to it. I, yeah I don't think we'll need it anymore I think I've got them so we'll put it to the side oh, like an out of the plastic okay. and we'll put them just at the bottom our inspectors there oh yeah put with the headband just since we do have a lot we're gonna try and combine some things that make sense okay so this one is good I like to organize and then reorganize everything a couple of times and honestly that's what people do behind the scenes on the big TV shows as well nobody gets it right on the first try allow yourself to not be perfect Every day, I have this, I'm a, the toxic habit of mine is that once it gets close to being done, I will open a new one. <gasps> and then, I like to have different scents. Yeah, so I, I Native I has really good, yeah. good scents. I mean, it's almost, actually, that's gonna like hurt your armpits. Mine is like that right now, too. We're just putting the drawers back in a way that makes sense to her morning routine. You don't need to shift your entire morning routine just to match your drawers. Shift your drawers to match your morning routine so that it's easier for you. And you just have to try a bunch of different combinations when you're putting these back. Not the prettiest, but she already had this. We're just gonna put this underneath the sink because it gets it out of the way and save room for the pretty stuff in the cabinet. She had these perfumes underneath the cabinet next to the cleaning supplies, but I don't think that ever encourages you to use them, especially when it's perfume is something that makes you feel good about yourself. 
Um, so what I want to do is put these up high next to some of her self-care products and instead put down items very low that she doesn't use very often. So we just went to her other bathroom. She said, let me show you my skincare in there. I don't know if you want it. I definitely want it. We have some travel hair products, some body products, a lot of skin, sheet mask. We have more travel stuff here. So I'm gonna organize all of this. And I didn't film it for you guys, but we actually made some space in their second bathroom. One thing I like to do is take masks out of their package like this as long as they're contained in something. So let me show you what I mean with the sheet masks. This encourages me to use them and I know exactly what I have when they're in the boxes. Sometimes we get careless and you know, we leave an empty box every now and then or we just don't know how many are in the box. So this setup makes me really want to approach self-care. When it comes to labeling, I don't think you really have to go label crazy. I just like to ask everyone like, to what degree do they want things labeled because some people don't like that and you know, to each their own. I find what is helpful is if you just reorganize something and put some things together that you might not remember later. I like to put a label on that just so that there's no confusion down the road. And once they learn where everything is organized, if they wanna take the label off later because they don't need it anymore, that's totally fine too. When, if you're working with a family or more than one person that's using that room, I can I find that it's also really helpful to put a label on it for, for them and for the sake of keeping everything organized. Okay, I can't remember if I showed you guys this in the beginning. This was her skincare cabinet and we've slowly been kind of re reshuffling things and now that we're creating categories it's much easier for us to take stuff that are little bitty extras and put them in the extras or put them in the skincare um, or the, the mass section it all just takes time and um, sometimes you don't realize that you have something and until further in the process and it's okay if you need to like go back Do you want to show us your new room? Where we started today is a bathroom that makes you anxious and it's a bathroom that doesn't encourage you to want to start off on your best foot every morning. This bathroom has been like this for the last five years for different life reasons and today we were able to completely transform it. And now it's so much calmer. It encourages self-care. It's a place where you want to be. And I also love having an organized bathroom because it's so easy here to repurchase things that you already have. And then you have doubles of them and they're just collecting in your cabinets. But staying organized will keep you from overbuying. And one thing that we did, her old kitty only stays in this room and you know, it is what it is and we take care of our pets. One thing I really encouraged her to do was to try out putting the litter box 
in the shower so that she doesn't have to see it every day because it was right by the toilet. They don't use this shower. So rather than taking up some valuable floor space right next to the toilet, to me, that doesn't do a lot for my mental health, but having the litter box tucked away, even if that means sacrificing space, is absolutely worth it for my mental health and just feeling clean whenever I walk in the bathroom. Um, so she's gonna try this out right now because I don't use the shower. And let me quickly explain to you everything else we organized. In here, um, we have all the stuff that she needs to, you know, that she uses most frequently. So we have makeup, that's just extras to use. Um, and these are kind of drop zones for jewelry. You get the idea. Down here, um, these really just were a game changer. These are the brushes she uses the most frequent, as well as like combs and all of this. Down here, I just like throwing the blow dryer down here. It makes it super easy. And then we have stuff that she doesn't grab for very often. This isn't super pretty, but it is more organized and very practical. We have some cleaning stuff down here. Um, these are all essential oils. And then we have extra makeup she hardly ever grabs for and travel bags. We were able to reorganize her skincare so that these things stopped falling. And we put the things that she wants to use more often, like her gua shots. We put them up here so that they are more appealing. And she could even grab this and like take it to the sofa or the bed. But it just overall, it looks way more inviting. Over here, this is just really beautiful. And I think they're gonna do something similar in the other bathroom with the extra organizers. But this just all makes so much, so much sense. Oh, are you purring? Are you trying to get those comments and likes on YouTube? Yeah. You're the oldest kitty on our channel. Next Sunday on the Miami Declutter series, we are tackling this very chaotic closet. And in one day, with the help of family, we are going to absolutely transform it to the most beautiful closet. And don't forget to check out June's journey, link down below. Go download it, I know you're gonna love it.